You don't have to be pretty to kick butt, and today I'm going to cover the UFC most attractive female fighter of all time. Welcome back to Stars and Sports, let's get into the video. Paige Van Zandt Paige Van Zandt was at one point one of the most popular fighters on the UFC roster. The Oregon native stumbled across Ken Shamrock's MMA gym while she was looking for a dance studio as a teenager. She began training boxing and jiu-jitsu, eventually competing in her first amateur fight at age 18. In 2013, the UFC signed Van Zant to be part of their newly created Star Raw weight division. Van Zant's appearance and fighting skills earned her multiple opportunities outside the cage, including appearing on Chopped and a season of Dancing with the Stars. She continues to model for brands such as Nike and Columbia. Michelle Watterson, the karate hottie, was actually pursuing modeling before drastically changing career paths in 2007. The lifelong athlete started training karate at age 10, where she earned her black belt. Watterson made herself known in 2007 when she appeared on Fight Girls, a reality show that followed the career of kickboxers trying to win world championships. After appearing on the show and amassing a 4-2 MMA record, Watterson took the next step in her career by signing with Strikeforce in 2008. After a four-fight stint with Invicta FC, the UFC signed the Karate Hottie in 2015. Watterson has continued to model even while competing in MMA, appearing in multiple TV shows and photo shoots since her professional debut in 2017. Mackenzie Dern Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu ace Mackenzie Dern is one of the most decorated female grapplers of all time. She has over 20 gold medals at international BJJ competitions and didn't make her MMA debut until 2016. Good. Are you worried about the weight cut? No, never. never. Okay. <laughs> How much more do we have left? Is that okay to ask? No. Okay. Or is that rude? Secret. Secret. <laughs> Misha Tate. Don't let her looks fool you, Maisha Cupcake Tate is one of the toughest women to ever step foot in the octagon. The former UFC and Strikeforce Bantam weight champion has had quite the MMA career both inside and outside the cage. Her combat sports experience extends back to Franklin Pierce High School where she was an avid wrestler and even won a state championship in 2005. Her love for grappling inspired her to begin her MMA career in 2007. Tate won the UFC Bantam weight championship in 2016, defeating Holly Holm via near naked choke. Anything that I did good. You, uh, you did. Alexa Grasso. Mexican strawweight Alexa Grasso looks too nice to hurt anybody. Her 11 professional MMA wins say otherwise. The 27 year old striker started her mixed martial arts career in 2012, going 5 0 in her home country, the country of Mexico, before getting signed to Invicta FC. In 2016, Grasso was signed to UFC where she won her promotional debut against Heather Joe Clark that November. After missing for her UFC 246 bout against Claudio Gadelha, Grasso announced that she would be moving up to flyweight for her next fight. To, to pull out due to an injury or something else, were you starting to doubt that you would ever be able to come back? For sure, you know, it's horrible to get injured. It's horrible. Gina Carano. Although she never fought in the UFC, Gina Crush Carano was such an accomplished fighter, we had to include her on this list. Starting her combat sports career in Muay Thai, Carano amassed an impressive 12-1-1 record before transitioning to MMA in 2006. She won her first two fights by knockout, prompting Strike Force to give her a call to fight in their promotion. She went 7-0 before being matched up with Chris Cyborg in the first high-profile televised MMA female fight in 2009. <laughs> no, I don't need to hear any more. <laughs> Anything makes sense after that. Right. Yeah. Of old English. Yeah. And, um... Tracy Cortez. Tracy Cortez became interested in MMA at just 14 years of age after watching her older brother, Jose, beat UFC veteran Drew Fickett. Soon after the fight, Jose brought Tracy to his training gym in Phoenix, Arizona, where he put her in the ring immediately with a professional boxer. I got my ass handed to me, she said, but that didn't deter me. Today, she is a member of the UFC roster, boasting an impressive 7-1 record. Rachel Ostevich. Hawaiian flyweight Rachel Ostevich made her professional debut in January 2014, which she lost via TKO in the second round. Despite this initial loss, Ostevich continued fighting and eventually landed a spot on the Ultimate Fighter 26. She won her opening fight on the show with a near naked choke, but lost a unanimous decision in the quarterfinals, leading to her elimination. After the show, Ostevich was signed to the UFC, where she is currently 1-2 in the promotion, including a loss to the aforementioned Paige Van Zandt. Yoanana Yenzadrik. Strawweight legend Yoanana Yenzadrik is still one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. She started training Muay Thai when she was 16 years old, eventually competing in national tournaments and pro fights. Before taking her skills to the MMA, Yenzadrik won over 60 matches in her 10 year Muay Thai and kickboxing career. 
The Polish mixed martial artist won the UFC Strawweight Championship in 2015, putting on a one-sided beating over Carla Esparza. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.